here it is an update for bolt action and it's kind of strange that i have two weekends in a row where i've done a hobby vlog update for bolt action uh it's been a while since i've done uh, a lot of bolt action content but i've got the bug and we are preparing to do a north africa battle report probably in april um, the only reason why it's being delayed is because i'm actually painting the figures want to kind of um, step up our game in terms of bolt action and just have painted figures on the battlefield because obviously it's going to look more awesome uh, we're also working on um, getting terrain done uh, for bolt action uh, but we have varying theaters where we're trying to get terrain and uh, I think we'll start with North Africa and uh, European, and then eventually we're gonna crack open that island assault box and um, start doing some Pacific stuff. But in the meantime, North Africa and then Crete. And um, as I stated in the last uh, hobby vlog, we're gonna be concentrating on Duel in the Sun as well as the Western Desert campaign book. So uh, I wanted to show off my DAC force, my Deutsche Afrika Corps force. Um, so nothing's changed in terms of the units. I still have the two squads uh, with one NCO with submachine gun and the light machine gun. And then a second squad uh, with the same. It's basically identical. Um, I did uh, go down to one bodyguard with submachine gun for the lieutenant. Obviously, still primed, but um, I'm working on getting that painted. <clears throat> However, the, the main difference um, in my list, and this is based on some feedback uh, from the last vlog, is that I bumped up the uh, Stug to um, regular. Uh, and obviously, I, I got this painted up real quick uh, with the Army Painter Desert Yellow as the primer and then kind of did everything else, but I'm actually pretty happy because I got that done pretty fast. In any case, I bumped this up to a regular and I think I dropped a couple things. I'll have to look at the list, uh, but now my list comes out to about 497 points and it's a little bit more solid um, starting force, uh, a little bit more survivable. So, um, you saw the light machine gun team last time. I'm pretty much done with that. Just a few things of cleanup. Let me pass over. So, light machine gunner needs to be completed. Um, for the most part, the figures are painted. I just need to base them. First lieutenant, I think, or second lieutenant needs to be painted. And then this squad is pretty much complete. Just a little bit more basing. And then I'll move on to the uh, anti-tank rifle team there. So that is my 500 point list, but I wanted to show off um, the progress that I made on it. Uh, in fact, uh, for someone who doesn't paint a lot, which is me, I, I think breaking it up in certain games to certain blocks uh, makes it a lot more manageable to paint uh, rather than just trying to paint as much as I can. Uh, you know, setting a goal like 500 points and then just painting that force uh, allows you to build upon uh, your army. So when I jump up to 750, I just got to paint the um, addition rather than trying to get an entire army painted. So uh, that's the update for the uh, Africa Corps. I'm going to move on to the Italians. All right, so in the last hobby vlog, um, I talked about the Italians and my intention to kind of build up my European Italian force, which would be used in Sicily as well as um, parts of the Stalingrad campaign. Um, you guys have seen this before. I've actually showcased it in a few uh, battle reports. And I do have some um, units, some of my infantry unit painted from the metal figures, uh, but I did complete a squad of the new War Games Atlantic. And the main impetus behind why I'm talking about the Italians today is someone on the comment thread for the Italian uh, infantry unboxing for War Games Atlantic wanted to see a size comparison of the figures uh, and see kind of like any differences. So uh, what I did was, and we'll move the auto blade out of the way. Um, let me get the officer here. So this is um, my officer. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here. So there's the officer. This is a Warlord medal. Um, I don't have any of the new uh, Italian um, plastic from Warlord, 
So I'm gonna have to use this as the comparison. I don't believe that this is, I guess it, it could be heroic. I mean, the hands are kind of big, the head's kind of big. But I was asked to do a size comparison between the Warlord Metal that I have and then the new War Games at Atlantic. Let me see. I'm gonna pick out this guy right here with the Brita. So, if you look, I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit closer. They actually look a little bit bigger, but uh, again, these are, this right here, the officer is a, a Warlord Metal and probably a much older model. Um, and even, if I can get this right, I think the War Games Atlantic is actually a little bit uh, bigger. I un Unfortunately, I don't have the new Italian plastic, so I can't really compare. Uh, but between the two, it looks like the War Games Atlantic is bigger. However, let me zoom out a little bit. They kind of align well um, in terms of size. This guy just looks a, look a bit taller than uh, this one. But you know what? In fact, let me bring over one of my Africa Core guys. We'll get the Italian guy out of the way. So we know for a fact that um, the Africa Core Warlord set is heroic scale. Let me zoom in here just a little bit. And I think they actually align well with um, the standard Warlord plastic. In fact, I would even go as so far as to say that the War Games Atlantic is a bit more heroic scale. Um, so I'm working off the knowledge that I have the Partisan um, box set from War Games Atlantic and they look a little bit skinnier and not as heroic as the Warlord plastic but this new set does look closer to the Warlord aesthetic than the Partisan set so I don't know um, I'd like to get I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on this to see whether or not um, they're closer in scale it, it really does look pretty darn close so all right anyway <clears throat> let me zoom out here so that is what I got um, yeah uh, in fact I'm looking at it now a little bit more closely the War Games Atlantic look a little bit bigger than the uh, Warlord medals but I think that maybe that's because the Warlord medals are much older and so the scale is just a little bit off uh, they do line up well let me back out here with the Africa Core Warlord Plastic. So if you are contemplating getting War Games Atlantic, um, kind of in, in conjunction with the new Italian plastic from Warlord, um, I think they'll look pretty close. Uh, it won't look too bad. Let me just bring this over just a little bit. They, they will actually scale very well together. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think in the next hobby vlog or bolt action update, I'll have more of the Italians built and painted and we'll have a better look at what the um, what that's going to look like. So uh, my intention with that box, as stated in the last hobby vlog, is to split it down the middle, take half of it for a European theater and half of it for North Africa. Although most of my vehicles for the Italians are painted uh, in desert uh, paint but in any case so that's pretty much it that is the update 500 point DAC and then the size comparison for the Italian so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it go ahead and click like if you haven't subscribed to the channel I appreciate it if you would click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new hobby vlog coming out of the channel and then click the link in the description below to join our discord server that is the best way I could personally interact with you and chit chat you about bolt action and any other game that we cover on the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming Noob Historical.